All right, so the last feature that we have to account for is this little uh, cutout right here. So let's go back to our part, and that's going to be on the front side. So let's start a new sketch here on the front, and um, let's see, let's go back to this. If you look straight on, like here's the cutout here. If we look straight on it, and it, this is the shape of a rectangle. So that's what we're going to use here is a rectangle. Um, and actually I'm going to use, um, this time I'm going to use a, I'm going to use a new feature that we haven't used before. So I'm going to do this. Click OK. And let me go ahead and dimension this first. Um, make this uh, 15 and then we'll make the width of this 20 okay. Go OK and so this time the um, what I want to use is a coincidence constraint okay this is where you want two points to just line up on on top of each other so when I click here what I want is the midpoint of of our of our part okay and so the midpoint here this looks like the midpoint of a part here and I want it the midpoint of our rectangle to scoot over let me make sure this is correct all right let me get out of this straighten this out and the way I'll know if I have this correct is I'll go to this let me go to this measure tool and I want to measure the distance between here and here okay that's 10 all right reset and then between here and here that's 10 also so I know that I have a this is this is perfectly in the center here okay. Um, there's a there's a couple different ways we could have achieved the same outcome, but I just wanted to, for learning purposes, just show you, um, wanted to show you that new that constraint feature here because we haven't used that before. Okay, so now we're going to cut into this. So let's finish the sketch and grab extrude and then go here. And so now if I when I go to cut, that's way too far. Like you know, we don't want this to go all the way through. So let's do, let's do half, right? Halfway through is good. Click OK, and let's see what we got. And that looks like that is our three-hole block right there. So now we're good to go, and we're save this, and we're ready to get started on our drawing file.